Hello folks, I am uh, here in Washington DC, just uh, a couple blocks from my school. There's this beautiful needle palm and I just decided to bike over to it. And um, yeah, this is, as I've said many times, the most common palm in the DC area. Just want to make a little video sort of uh, explaining why that is. And uh, just, I guess I sort of made a video last night about the needle palm, but what's so awesome uh, about this particular palm. So about the species of palm. So. Um, the needle palm is uh, certainly the most common palm in the DC area, followed by sable minor and then trachycarpus uh, uh, of any species probably comes in a, a, a far third. Um, but uh, yeah, needle palms are, uh, again, I wouldn't exactly say they're common here, but they're the most common and they're not all that rare. Like I said, I just discovered this one uh, walking by uh, one day, actually driving by on the uh, street over there and uh, just like just a couple blocks from my, from my school right next to it and uh, super neat, super beautiful. And I really like this one in particular because uh, you can see it, they kind of trimmed it back a little bit and I really like the look. Um, it has like almost a tracky like look. I really sort of thought it was a tracky when I first saw it, um, but it's very trimmed back and uh, looks like something you'd find in the swamp. Uh, I think it's really neat looking. Anyways, the cicadas are crazy. Uh, I don't know if you can see all the ones in there, but just insane. Um, but let's talk about sort of why this is the most common palm in the DC area. Now, obviously, no shocker, um, it you know obviously it has a lot to do with uh, that it's the hardiest. But um, that said, it is pretty hard to come by in nurseries. So how so many people got their hands on a needle palm in the DC area? I'm not really sure. Um, there's basically one nursery that has it readily available. They have some pretty big ones actually, and uh, it's a nursery in Alexandria called Hollywoods and Vines, and they're sort of a palm specialized nursery. They've got some huge trackies for like a thousand bucks. They've also got some smaller ones. I've never been there, but I'm, I hope to go there soon. And uh, just a really neat nursery, really neat place. But um, yeah, this is a uh, a particularly, uh, I mean, yeah, it's not that common a palm to come across in a nursery, but you'll see occasionally other nurseries will have one. But um, yeah, I mean, I guess I guess they must have gotten it from a nursery or something. These people, I think, must know something about palms. I just uh, actually spoke to the owner and uh, I, I said, nice palm, and she said, thanks. And um, I didn't really discuss uh, but I know that previously they have had a, uh, I think they had a Wagnerianus uh, planted in there, uh, or some sort of other tragedy carvers. It didn't look like a Fortuna, but I've seen a picture of it on, on Google Maps. And uh, I think they might've had some other palms next to the doorway. So clearly palm enthusiasts at the very least. Um, but you know, this is this is a not that rare of a site in DC. If you take a drive through, uh, especially some of the neighborhoods in like Northwest DC, uh, you know, there's a good chance you're gonna come across a palm. I can, I can say that if you take a nice long drive. Um, you know, you'll see them in a lot of residential yard, not, not a lot, but a good amount of residential yards. And it's just super neat. I actually just started making a map of all the palms in the DC area that I know of. I think I got to like 30 or something, um, which is a pretty good number, at least um, 30. And uh, I'm still working on it. Still got some palms to plot, but got this one on there and uh, not including my own. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of just sort of to plot all the palms that I know about. And uh, yeah, just this is a really nice specimen and uh, super neat. Love that view there with the DC flag. Let's just sort of try to get a shot of that here but uh just a super cool uh specimen and a uh a very neat palm so most common palm in the dc area as it is the hardiest palm in the world and um you know just all around awesome palm if you guys are uh you know if you live in a colder climate this is probably you know top species to try uh, obviously it's the most cold hardy and uh, just super neat and super hardy so yeah can survive temperatures well below zero with some damage sustained, but um, yeah, super tough and completely bulletproof here in the DC area. So that's a really nice specimen. Rapid of Phylum Hustrix Needle Palm. And uh, thanks for watching, folks. Have a good one. This is a uh, most common palm in the DC area. There's tons of big specimens around town, by the way.